As lava from the Kilauea volcano on Hawaii Island continues to threaten and destroy the Puna neighborhood of Leilani Estates, airmen from the Hawaii Air National Guard's 154th Wing Medical Detachment 1 have been mobilized to ensure that the task force's soldiers and airmen are safe and healthy. Because there are soldiers and, and other airmen and other military members who are getting exposed to hydrogen sulfide or sulfur dioxide, that may be out in the field. You just want to make sure that they're okay. Along with the medical monitoring mission, the DET-1, which is comprised of certified medical professionals, EMTs, and nurses, is also embedding for the roving patrols of the affected neighborhood. Along with the roving patrols, they're, they're linking up with CST, who are, who are taking um, SO2 monitor readings to make sure that the areas are safe. If not, they'll take assistance from our roving patrols to get people out of there to notify help the Big Island Police Department notify the public that this area may be unsafe and that they need to evacuate at this time. As the disaster here on Hawaii Island evolves on a daily basis, the Guardsmen are proving their resilience. What's unique with this situation is it's 24-7 ops and it's, it's a long-term mission at this time. It's not like a single event happened, such as a tsunami or an earthquake, where there's an immediate you know, threat to danger for life of the civilians and the military. But it's, we're tracking the lava, you know, it kind of follows a line that we can, we can kind of predict, but not totally. So the mission is kind of like, it's more of an extension and ongoing, a lot of monitoring and just want to keep the public informed and keep everybody safe. So they have enough time to evacuate if need be. This is Tech Sergeant Andrew Lee Jackson reporting with the Hawaii National Guard.